I'm Antonio Centeno. I'm the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, gentlemen, I'm going to be talking to you about gray flannel trousers. Why I think every man should have a pair of gray flannel trousers in his wardrobe. I'm going to give you five reasons why you should consider them. And I'm also going to let you guys know about a project I've been working on. So, I have what I consider to be the perfect pair of gray flannel trousers. About eight years ago, I designed these, had them made by a custom tailor, used really high-end fabric, and literally, they are just now starting to fall apart after about 200, 250 wears. I can tell you, though, that the, I, I am sad to see these things falling apart, but I have got my money's worth. I paid quite a bit of money. They were custom, bespoke made, measured out. I used really high-end Laura Piana fabric. but. What I come to, what I what I figured out is that these were the trousers I went to grab every time I'm traveling, every time I'm going to be giving a presentation, anytime I need something that I just feel great about wearing and made me feel like a million bucks. So gray flannel trousers, they used to be really popular. It used to be something that all men had in their wardrobe, and then something came along called jeans, and because of the low cost. All of a sudden, a lot of gray flannel fell to the wayside. It was World War II. Also, you know, basically flannel was used a lot more in uniforms. It had a lot of great properties. Wool was a luxury fabric, so it cost a lot more. Men came back. They all started, denim started fitting more into our wardrobe. And gray flannels slowly fell to the wayside, which is a shame because there are so many great things about them. So, first off, what is flannel? Flannel is a material made usually from wool and it's going to have a napped surface. What do I mean by napped surface? So, if you can imagine, a third dimension has been added to the surface where it's basically been picked over afterwards and so we've got some of the fabric that came up. This gives it a very smooth, very soft texture. Okay, so let's get into the five reasons why you should have gray flannels in your wardrobe. Ready? Number one is their classic. I talked about how they used to be in every man's wardrobe. These types of trousers have been around for over a hundred years. What that tells me and what that should tell you is that, hey, if you buy a pair, even if you spend quite a bit of money on them, you can at least know, hey, it's going to be around for five to ten to fifteen years before it goes out of style. To be honest, these things I don't think are ever going to go out of style. They have become less popular and that is to your advantage, which I'll get into in a, in a later point. So, point number two, gray flannels are versatile. What do I mean by versatile? I mean they are easy to match and they are incredibly easy to dress down, dress up. So, gray is a great color. Why? Because it is a non-color. Gray falls between white and black on the scale. So, you got black added a bit of white to it, grays in there. What that does is if you've got lavender, if you have orange, if you have yellow, if you have any you have an olive jacket, guess what? Gray flannels works perfectly with them because it defers, in a sense, attention to that, especially nice pocket square or olive green jacket with a blue shirt. Wear a pair of gray flannels. I just probably described one of my favorite outfits. And all of a sudden, it, it looks great and people can't even place their finger on why this man looks so good. Again, you can match it with any of the colors, any of the patterns because it's a non-patterned. Gray flannel most of the time is not going to have any type of pattern to it. So, it's going to, again, allow other things in your in your outfit to really grab the attention. And you can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can wear it with a sports jacket, wear it with a blazer, you can simply wear it with a casual shirt like what I'm wearing right here. Okay, so point number three is it's comfortable. I talked about the nap surface. So chinos, and there, there's a wide range of other trousers out there that kind of fit the range between jeans and dress slacks. But I would say none of them are as comfortable, especially in the fall, the winter, and the spring, whenever you've got those cool breezes going around, then a pair of gray flannels. That nap surface does a better job of retaining heat. It feels good rubbing up against your body. I can tell you when I travel, the reason I love this is they're just comfortable. I almost feel like I'm in a pair of pajamas. They fit me well and because of the fit, because of the surface of, of the material, all of a sudden, I just, I just feel great. Whenever I'm sitting in that airline seat, it's really nice when you can travel and look good. So, point number four is texture. So, I was talking about the nap surface, but another advantage of texture is allows you, and this kind of goes back to the matching, but texture is something that draws attention and it almost like people almost want to touch it. So, if you're a single guy or you're married, hey, you may not be surprised whenever a woman comes up and she starts touching your trousers, not necessarily a bad thing, kind of breaks that barrier, but it is something that texture, again, makes it much more versatile. Number five, we're going to talk about durability. 
So this is something I think a lot of people are concerned about with gray flannel is, is this going to last? Yes, gray flannel, like I said, I've had my pair for 250 wears. I, I At least I, I have worn this over the last eight years. And I can tell you that it is just now starting to show wear. It depends on the quality of the fabric. So I do recommend if you're going to go out there, you know, that's why Brooks Brothers and a lot of these uh, other companies out there, they've got, I mean, they sell the trousers at a relatively high price. The reason being is they're using a very high-end Italian, usually woven or, or English-made uh, type of fabric that just is expensive. But what that tells me is it's going to last. You want to be careful of recycled uh, wool. Usually the fiber is going to be a bit shorter and the the trousers actually may eventually develop some small holes on them. So this is bonus number six. If you have a pair of gray flannels in your wardrobe, you're going to stand out. They are not very popular. They fell out of popularity because of jeans. And I think I notice whenever I'm walking around, everyone else is wearing dress slacks or they're wearing jeans. If I have a pair of gray flannels, I am the one in a hundred men. Now I think every man should have a pair. The point is, is they are something that helps you stand out in a good way. So I've talked about my favorite pair of trousers here and let me let me share a few details about them. They have no, uh, what is it, belt loops. The reason being is I don't ever want to wear a pair of uh, a belt with this. Why? It actually gives a more streamlined look. Now some of you guys may be wondering, well Antonio, how do you keep it, how do you keep them from falling down? I have side tabs. So these side tabs have an adjustable in the back that allows me basically to tighten them or to loosen them depending on how I feel that day or how much I've been eating. In addition, they have a three fastening front. What this does is it better distributes uh, in the front. Usually on a pair of jeans, you know how you have one button right there or cheaper pairs of trousers. On the higher end ones, you're going to see actually three fastens in the front. This helps to distribute the tension and actually gives a much nicer look in the front area. In addition, these have a hidden pocket because I have no back pockets. I have no back pockets. I like the streamlined look. I don't want to add this big bulge. You know, I don't even want to have the temptation of putting a wallet in the back. What happens here though? I still want a pocket where I can carry things and I don't want to carry them in my front pocket necessarily. So I've got this hidden pocket over on the right side it's actually inside the trousers a bit and it opens up. I don't know if you guys can see that right here and then it opens up. Allows me to keep credit cards, money in there. So hey, pickpockets, no one is ever going to find this. Whenever I am wearing just a shirt with these trousers and I've got my, uh, my shirt stays in, I have a very streamlined look and I get compliments all the time. People can't place their finger on it but they know I look great. There's something different about how I'm presenting myself. So. Some of you guys weren't okay. You can go get these custom made. And I can tell you this pair I had custom made with a high end fabric cost me almost $400. Yes, it was expensive. Now, I can tell you I'm working on a project where I'm going to make these actually affordable and a lot more accessible. I'm going to link to it down below. I've got a form that you can fill out. Tell me a little bit about what you want to see in the trousers, how you would fit these into your wardrobe and you know, give me your email address so I can notify you as soon as these become available. We're looking to make about a hundred pairs for a hundred men that are interested in having a pair of gray flannels at an affordable price and go out there and look. Brooks Brothers has them for like 350 bucks. There's other companies that have them for well over 200 and they're oftentimes not even using the best fabrics. So the design is not going to be something we're going to be able to change up but we are going to customize the waist to the individual because I want them to fit you perfectly there and it's something I'm having fun with. Let me know in the comments if this sounds interesting and more importantly go over and fill out the form. Let me know uh, that way. That way I can email you and you can be notified when this becomes available. I also support this with an article over at Real Men Real Style where I go into more detail. Gentlemen, take care. I'll see you in the next video.